Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dream Machine Chapter 6. In the last episode, uh, we made it through the maze in the center of the dreamscape and in the end we... well, let's just say that we're currently inside our mother's stomach and we're looking at us as a fetus. And at the moment we are trying to figure out how to get behind this fetus I guess Victor, <laughs> I can call it. it a Victor, I guess also, because it's Victor as a fetus. Uh, because behind there is the prenatal realm, where we want to get, because there are babies. And that's the only way we can cut the final tentacle, by getting there. Now, if I understood correctly, we have two options. Um, we can kill this fetus. <clears throat> there is a... Sh there is like... a possibility that this fetus is part of the machine because when it speaks the dialogue is kind of gray like normally when you speak to the machine but Victor really does not want to do that um, so I think there might be another way to do this and I really want to try to find that other way because Victor does not feel comfortable killing this baby and honestly me neither I don't want to do that um, we have multiple different sort of items here, so the first thing I guess I'm just gonna try um, What they do with the baby? We have a forked twig. Does that do anything? Hmm, what do I want to do? How should I use the twig? Uh, no, we don't want to stab it um, I guess tie fetus with yarn I've tied the yarn around fetus Victor's ankle what are you doing? Stop that! Um. Yeah, I guess we... Could we pull it out? Does the ladder do anything? That doesn't seem to work. Okay, um... Now we have a forked twig. Uh, so you separated them, okay. Well, what if we now walk outside? Outside the womb? Um... Back to the entrance? Just a regular old entrance. <gasps> Sorry, I'm drinking tea. I'll just drop the yarn here. Okay. And then i uh, walk under leg. I think we might be able to just pull it out so we don't have to kill it. I think that's a much more better option. <laughs> Let's get down from the bed. Um... All right, let's become big. But doesn't the fetus die though if we just pull it out? But I guess it's not like a real fetus. It's just Victor. I mean, it. I mean, it speaks. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, so can I pull the yarn? Examine mom and dad. All right. So there's the yarn. Can we pull it? Get ready to push when I say so. Alright. Are you sure this is going to work? Not really. You've done this before, right? S sort of. I've done it with something smaller. <laughs> but the principle should be the same. <laughs> yeah, I guess we did it with the acorn. Please. I can't take any more of this. Alright, I trust you. Good. At the count of three, push as hard as you can. One, two, three. Uh, push! Is it coming out? One more. There it is! <laughs> Almost there! Really? We take it as an item? Deliver unto me. Okay, congratulations! It's a boy! You did it! I'm sorry I doubted you. Think nothing of it. I wonder what would have happened if we would have stabbed it. That's really interesting. Maybe there's two endings to this game or something. I mean, I guess Victor would have died then. Maybe the mother even would have died. I don't know. Examine. Uh, talk? I told you to let me pass. You fool! You don't know what you've done. Put me back. I've got to protect the prenatals. I'm afraid I can't do that. Okay, can we give it to the mother? I mean, that's what the doctors do. Uh, examine. 
Uh, here we go. Here he is! A healthy little tyke. Thank you. We're so elated this ordeal is over. What's your name, brave hero? My name is Victor. Victor, eh? That's a nice name. Would you mind if we named our boy after you? The man who brought him into this world? Not at all. It would be an honor. That settles then. That settles... That's... What... Is this an... Uh, uh, that settles it then? <laughs> I don't know if that was grammatically correct. Maybe it was. And I just don't know anything. Oh, I gave it to them. Okay. Um, well, I guess let's go back inside then. Just keep your legs open for just a little bit longer. And I'll climb in there. I need to get to this prenatal realm. Can I go there? Good thing you seem to be frozen. Alright, let's get in there. Once more. Enter womb. And there should be another entrance. Oh, it's just a blinking light. I hope we have all the items we need. I don't know what we're gonna do with this ladder. We could pick it up and then we have these paintings. I really do hope we have everything we need in the prenatal realm. <sighs> oh well, let's look at it. Hey, there's a narrow passage back here. It seems to lead deeper into the womb. Well, enter. Let's see where it takes us. Move towards light. This is where I'm supposed to be, isn't it? That voice. Was that me? Indeed. Just a little closer towards the center, if you don't mind. Don't be shy. Step into the light. Uh, okay. Hello again, Mr. Neff. I guess you're wondering where you are. What is this place? You're standing in the dreamscape, Mr. Neff. The living, breathing amalgamation of billions of sleeping machines, each adding their own distinct piece to the puzzle. All connected. All belonging. Okay. We look forward to spending an eternity with you. We look forward to spending an eternity with you. Um, why is there an echo? <laughs> I don't like that. Oh no. Is that Legion? Can I still back out? <laughs> um, take a moment to reflect. Who are you? I'm you. Don't you recognize your own reflection? I'm talking to myself now? That doesn't bode well. Uh, move towards the light? It's strange how easy I can express these thoughts to you. I hardly know you. And I haven't even admitted much of this to myself even. The subconscious is a strange and powerful thing. So this is goodbye then? Let's reform on some faraway beach. What? <laughs> Somewhere down the line. Huh. Isn't this magical? The first breakfast in our new apartment. Yeah. I want this to last forever. <sighs> there, here we go. Oh god. Ah! Hi. Oh god, what is this? It's a cutscene. Go away! <laughs> I don't like you. Um, it's a long way. It's almost like we're in some sort of a tunnel. <laughs> Go away! I already told you. Hush.
This is kind of what you see when you close your eyes and then kind of push on your eyelids. I did this as a kid. This is kind of what you see. I used to pretend like I was in a tunnel driving a really fast car. <laughs> hmm. Should I like click something? Like when the face appears, maybe? I think I can do anything. Just enjoying the ride. <laughs> That's unsettling. Chapter 6? What? Chapter 7? Who's that? Who, who's that? Where am I now? Yeah, and what? Did I really pass through the birth barrier? Am I really on the other side? What? Chapter 7? How is there chapter 7? I didn't purchase that. <laughs> um, okay. Well... I guess we'll just go on then. We have still time in this episode and no one informed me of a chapter 7. So I'm just gonna keep going. Um, let's go forward. <laughs> Ooh, there's the tentacle. Thank you, Victor. I wouldn't have been able to reach this place if not for you. I thought I'd be stuck back there forever. Wait, that wasn't you back in the womb? No, he spoke the truth. He was blocking me from reaching this place. But you took care of that, didn't you? Um... Well... Well, we don't fucked up then. <laughs> uh, go forward. I wish I had more time to stay and discuss the things with you. Out of all victors, you were the most ruthless. But you'll have to excuse me. I've got a consciousness to transfer. We don't have any of our items, okay, so I guess no, none of it mattered. Oof. What? What the heck? Okay. Um, we're black and white again. There's music. Go forward. Hmm. It looks like it's kind of some microscopic image. But I'm sure it's just like cotton <laughs> and yarn. It's so cool how this game is made. Looks so cool. Are those like... Yeah, I think those are the prenatals. In cute little bubbles. Growing like flowers. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? We're so small compared to all of this. Oh my gosh.
It's a long way, even though it's so close. So dreamy. Hmm. Now there's like balls. I think these might be the prenatals too. Kind of looks like um like frog eggs. I don't know what those are called in English. But those you see in water. Oh, that's my baby. Oh, it's going into the heart. Or is, I don't know if this is the tentacle, but uh, hi. Victor Jr. Oh no, he got the flickering eyes. Talk to child. Victor, you're too late. I didn't want to do this, but you left me no choice. Let my child go. I'm afraid I can't do that. This is my only shot at life. You made sure of that when you cut all my other roots. You don't deserve to live. You're a parasite. You only live at the expense of others. Without a host, you're nothing. The same it can be said for your child. Does it not draw life from Alicia? Without her, it be dead. That's different. We chose that. We didn't choose you. Leave my child now. Or else? I'll rupture the umbilical cord I'm standing on. You'd murder your own child just to deny me life? If it comes to that, then yes. I'd rather kill you both than see my child grow up as some kind of machine-controlled zombie. What if there was another option? Like what? What if I transferred my consciousness to you? And suppress me like you did the others? I'm suggesting a symbiosis. A merged being, free to explore the dreamscape, the first of its kind. Would you let my child go? Of course. But you must understand. If we do this, you can never leave the dreamscape again. That would sever, se sever my last remaining source of energy, killing us both. What about Alicia? What about the others in the estate? They'll wake up as soon as I transfer my consciousness to you. Very well. I accept. Good. It will take a few moments, and I can't guarantee it will be entirely pleasant for you. I'll release your child in the meantime. Very well. Hello? Hello? You can talk? Yes, I think so. Is that what we're doing right now? Yes. Who are you? I'm your father. You're my child. Yes, in this incarnation that's true, but we'll come back here again in different forms. What is this place? It's where life finds shape and form. These are all children gestating? Not just children, animals too? All things, all life's dreams, father. Victor? I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm done. I've transferred my consciousness to you. We can leave. Will I ever see you again? I can't join you in the waking world. I have to stay in the dreamscape. Perhaps I can come visit you when, you when I sleep. I hope you do. What's my mother like? You like her? I wish I could be there with you both. So do I. What happens now? How do I get out of here? I think I can conjure up a mode of transportation from your memory. 
if you'll allow me, do it. <laughs> the boat. I don't want Victor to be imprisoned here. I hope we get something. Get to do something. Final boss fight. Come on, game. Give me the boss fight. Where should we go? I'll let you decide that, Victor. You're the dreamer after all. Alright. I think I know a place. Goodbye, father. Mm. Goodbye. Victor? Are you alright? What's that on your head? Wake up, Victor! You're scaring me. Please wake up. Please. Where are you? Oh, no! And this is where it, I guess, ends. Pick up fishing rod. Hmm. Use the fishing rod with forked branch. There's a gap in between. There's a gap where we meet, where I end and you begin. Didn't give me the boss fight, god damn it. <laughs> well, but it's a fitting ending, I guess. It's a surprising ending, I kind of. I mean, it's a. It's, it's, it's like a bittersweet ending, I guess. But I always expect that like, this game would have like a. Like a really happy ending. <laughs> I don't know why I assumed that. Um, I was assuming like we wake up from wake up from our dream and then we can walk around the apartment and talk to everyone and everyone's like thank you Victor for saving us but no we just ended up on the island Achievement. I woke up and one of us was... Okay, I can't see the ending. So long, goodbye. Thanks for playing our game, The Dream Machine. We hope you liked it. Well, I definitely did. Hi. <laughs> you have very dark eyes. Although everyone really had like emotionless eyes. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, close, I guess. You can't just... Why game? You can't just leave this here? <laughs> what? That's so awful. That's... I... Listen, I like the ending, but I don't like this. Now I'm sad. You can't just change the menu screen to this. What? <sighs> like... There, there has to be... <laughs> There cuts to be the dream machine too. When is that coming out? We need to wake Victor up. I want my boss fight with the machine. <laughs> Maybe the next game can be like a shooter game where we like get an actual gun with actual bullets and we get to shoot those tentacles. I mean, I think I think we should like start a the fundraiser so we can get that. <laughs> we need to wake Victor up. Victor. No. Oh well, huh. I guess uh, that's it then. I'm probably gonna do like a, a short video after this, kind of like a like a very casual review of the game. Something I'll I'll try to write up something and try to review this game a bit. I'll get you know think about it for a little bit and then share my thoughts. But uh, immediate afterthoughts of the game, I really liked it. It's a really beautiful game. 
it kind of is exactly my style. It's kind of like weird and uh, kind of creepy, but then it has like super sweet and funny moments. Kind of like my style. Very, very much my style. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching the Dream Machine Let's Play, my first Let's Play, and um, I'll hope you join me in the future too for other exciting adventures. Goodbye. <laughs>